Good morning everyone. This is Lenovo ThinkBook 16P G4IRH model and today I'm going to show you how to replace the SSD. This one came with 512 gig which is very small due to the demand so we're going to replace it. So first of all let me show you the model number which is ThinkBook 16P G4IRH. Okay. So first of all, what you need to do, we need to switch it down. Make sure you disconnect the charger. And then we're going to take all the screws from the bottom plate. I do have iFixit tools, such a great tools to do any sort of precision screwing or unscrewing. So first of all, I'm going to take out all of them. I'm going to start from the right hand side and go all around. It doesn't break any angle, so don't worry. It takes about a couple of minutes to take the bottom plate down. And try to use any sort of plastic spudger because if you use any metallic one, that's going to damage all the end cords. As you can see, all the end cords are intact. So, first of all, the things that we have to do to disconnect the battery. Remember this sort of gaming machine. If you don't disconnect the battery and if you touch the main board, that might damage GPU, CPU, even the main board. Okay. So once the battery has disconnected, you are safe to go. As you can see here, this is the M.2 NVMe SSD. It takes a couple of SSD, one on the left, another one on the right. The left one is full length. As you can see, this is Gen 4. And here is the thermal pad. I'm go just going to take this out from this foil. So here is Samsung 980 Pro Gen 4 NVMe SSD, which is one terabyte. So we're going to install that one. And also in the secondary SSD slot, we're going to put another one. So let's do it. So technically, what are you going to do? We're going to copy exactly what we done so we're going to pull this off the old one and put back the new one and if you do have new ssd that means there is no system either you need to clone your system from the old ssd or you need to freshly install the windows if you don't know how to do that you can check the video link would be in the description 